తెలంగాణ ప్రభుత్వం విడుదల చేసిన రెండు వేల ఇరవై రెండు టెట్ ఫలితాలలో రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ ప్రభంజన టెట్ పేపర్ వన్ లో నూట ముప్పై మూడు మార్కులతో స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ సాధించిన జె అంజని టెట్ పేపర్ టూ మ్యాథ్ సైన్స్ విభాగంలో నూట ఇరవై తొమ్మిది మార్కులు నూట ఇరవై ఏడు మార్కులతో స్టేట్ టాప్ ర్యాంకులు సాధించిన జె అంజని ఎన్ సరిత టెట్ పేపర్ టూ సోషల్ స్టడీస్ విభాగంలో నూట ఇరవై రెండు మార్కులతో స్టేట్ టాప్ ర్యాంక్ సాధించిన ఏ మమత మరియు అన్ని పేపర్లలో తొంభై శాతం ఉత్తీర్ణత సాధించిన ఏకైక సంస్థ రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ రెండు వేల పదిహేడు పద్దెనిమిది డిఎస్సి ఎస్జిటిలో స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ సాధించిన మహేష్ స్టేట్ టాప్ టెన్ ర్యాంకులతో పాటు అత్యధిక ఉద్యోగాలు సాధించిన ఏకైక సంస్థ రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ మరియు గురుకుల టీచర్స్ లో టీజీటీ మ్యాథ్ స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ స్రవంతి టీజీటి బయో సైన్స్ స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ సుధా టీజీటి సోషల్ స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ బి శ్రీధర్ టీజీటి సోషల్ స్టేట్ సెకండ్ ర్యాంక్ రాజేందర్ రెడ్డి టీజీటి తెలుగు స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ అంజన్ కుమార్ ఫిజికల్ డైరెక్టర్ స్టేట్ ఫస్ట్ ర్యాంక్ రాజ్యలక్ష్మి ఫిజికల్ డైరెక్టర్ స్టేట్ సెకండ్ ర్యాంక్ దివ్య టీజీటి ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ స్టేట్ థర్డ్ ర్యాంక్ శ్రీలక్ష్మి పీజీటి ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ స్టేట్ థర్డ్ ర్యాంక్ మురళి పీజీటి ఇంగ్లీష్ స్టేట్ థర్డ్ ర్యాంక్ యాదగిరి రెండు వేల పదిహేడు పద్దెనిమిది డిఎస్సి గురుకుల టీచర్స్లలో డెబ్బై నుండి ఎనభై శాతం ఉద్యోగాలు సాధించిన ఏకైక సంస్థ రామయ్య కాంపిటేటివ్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ డిఎస్సి గురుకుల టీచర్స్ మరియు గ్రూప్స్ ఎస్ఐ కానిస్టేబుల్ కోచింగ్ కొరకు డైరెక్టర్ సిరికొండ లక్ష్మీనారాయణ గారి సారథ్యంలో అత్యుత్తమైన అధ్యాపక బృందంచే కొత్త బ్యాచ్లు ప్రారంభమైనవి వివరాలకు సంప్రదించండి నైన్ టూ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ టూ జీరో ఎయిట్ ఫోర్ డబల్ టూ త్రిబుల్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ ఫైవ్ డబల్ ఫైవ్ టూ జీరో టూ త్రిబుల్ ఎయిట్ ఫైవ్ ఎయిట్ ఫైవ్ నైన్ త్రిబుల్ జీరో ఎయిట్ డబల్ జీరో ఎయిట్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ త్రిబుల్ ఫోర్ జీరో ఎయిట్ డబల్ జీరో ఎయిట్ నైన్ ఫైవ్ త్రిబుల్ ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ ఎయిట్ ఫైవ్ టూ జీరో ఎయిట్ త్రిబుల్ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ త్రీ ఓకే స్టూడెంట్స్ నవ్ ఐ విల్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఫిఫ్త్ చాప్టర్ ఇన్ అవర్ గురుకుల సిలబస్ ఓకే దిస్ చాప్టర్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ మెథడ్స్ అండ్ అప్రోచెస్ ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్ ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ ఓకే రైట్ నౌ ఇన్ అవర్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ ఆర్ ఆంధ్ర వన్ డే ఆర్ అనదర్ డే వీ విల్ బికమ్ ఏ టీచర్ దెన్ దెన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు అవర్ రియల్ క్లాస్ టీచింగ్ దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ three questions in our arise in our mind one is one is what what i do what i do teach second one what why do second one why do i teach why do i teach and third one how do i teach how do i teach okay so these three questions arise in our mind whenever we go to teach the physics or chemistry to our respective class okay if you feel a real physical science teacher then you arise three these three type of questions one uh, first one is what do i teach what do i teach okay uh you say what we teach to the class ah uh, right what is that content content we teach to the particular section either 8th class or 9th class or 10th class or intermediate next this content why do we teach why do we teach means to get to get the teaching objectives to get the teaching objectives teaching objectives ah uh, you already known what are teaching objects i already told you uh, teaching objects are seven knowledge understanding application interest attitude appreciation and uh, skill so for we achieving we want to achieve those seven teaching objectives we teach the lessons to the students okay so that is the answer of second question now how do i teach so, okay this content 
content means our chapters our, our physical and chemistry chapters for example magnetism for example electricity for example atomic structure uh, okay here i considered one chapter that atomic structure chapter we are teaching to the 10th class students for getting objectives okay na right okay that atomic structure chapter we are teaching to the 10th class students for getting objectives uh, how do we teach how how in in which way we are teaching right in which way means how do i teaching means through teaching methods through teaching methods through teaching methods we are teaching the uh, atomic structure to the respective class okay so here the third question answer today our lesson that is fifth lesson teaching methods methods and approaches of teaching physical science okay right um first of all what is meant by method what is meant by method method is a english language word it this word derived from latin word this word derived from latin word name is meth m e t h meth m e t h meth this is a latin word from this latin word the english word method derived okay the meaning of the method meth in latin language is the way the way the way the way so method means the way now teaching method means teaching method teaching teaching method now another one is teaching method what is meant by teaching what is meant by teaching teaching means teaching means the interaction between the two persons is called teaching what is meant by teaching the interaction between the two persons suppose for example your father and you and your brother and you otherwise your friend and you so like this in between uh, the process of interaction between the two persons is called method okay so, uh, teaching the process of uh, interaction between two persons is called teaching okay for that process we are selecting one way that way is called teaching method for this teaching we are selecting one way or one process that is called as teaching method teaching method okay na right now some of the scientist given some definitions for this teaching method teaching okay the first one uh, scientist name is edmund emidan edmund edmund emidan edmund emidan gave one definition for teaching one definition for teaching that is the process of the process the process of interaction between interaction interaction between interaction between teacher and student is called teaching the process of interaction between the teacher and student is called teaching okay for example the teacher teaches the about uh, electron configurations okay for example hydrogen electron configuration helium lithium like that now in this one in this uh, one the student also participated now students ask some doubts and the teacher clarifying the, those doubts like this in this particular situation the teacher and student uh, uh, mutually interacted na that's why this is called teaching given by whom edmund emidan edmund emidan give the, the definition for teaching that is the process of interaction between teacher and student is called is called teaching is called teaching so this is one definition and second one flanders flanders he is a another scientist flanders he gave one definition for teaching that is the process of the process the process of interaction interaction between between two persons two persons 
two persons is called teaching the process of interaction between two persons here he did not mentioned um, particular person name only two persons but edmund emden uh, definition contains two persons namely teacher and student okay now third one is uh, hc morrison hc morrison he gave a wonderful definition for teaching that is mm, the process of the process of communicating the information from high matured person to low matured person is called teaching the process of the process the process of the process of interaction between interaction interaction between interaction between high matured person to high matured high matured person to low matured person low matured person is called is called teaching so this is uh, definition of teaching given by three scientists one is edmund emden and second one is flanders and third one is hc morrison okay the process of interaction between the high matured person here in this definition high matured person is a teacher and low matured person is a student okay so in between the interaction between high matured and low matured is called teaching the process the process means the way the way you are selected is called teaching given by three scientists okay so these are the three in, uh, definitions very important in our gurukula okay right so this is teaching method now approaches approaches what is meant by approaches what is meant by approaches approaches means uh, approaches means the process of the process of easily easily to convert the teaching methods is called approach is called approach otherwise we say another one which are which are giving the basis which are giving the basis for teaching methods they are called approaches otherwise we will say which are giving uh, simplify which are simplify the teaching methods they are called approaches approaches means uh, the simple the simple way the simple way for teaching methods teaching methods is called approaches the simple way of teaching methods is called approaches okay uh, here students uh, you remember one is teaching method and second one is approach teaching method is the way we are selecting for communicate the uh, uh, pro process or interaction between two persons approaches means uh, these are simple techniques or simple ways for teaching methods okay for example um uh, for example now we are staying at hyderabad we want to go warangal okay na so uh, one passenger wants to go from hyderabad to warangal now he selected the uh, two ways one is roadways and the one is railways here selecting the uh, transport ways is called teaching method now suppose the boy selected the roadways that is teaching method here here we are considered on this roadways uh, suppose the boy travel on which vessel in in which vehicle he reached easily to the warangal either by bus na or car or scooter or cycle or rickshaw this is tells about approaches now the boy selected car because he selected the car on the roadways so this car simplify the traveling of the uh, boy from hyderabad to warangal same way the the process of selecting selecting is called teaching method in this teaching method which one uh, which one simplifies the simplify technique or process called uh, approaches okay right and uh, of teaching physical science in our physical science textbook contain physics and chemistry in the in these chapters how do we teach 
how do we teach very easily and understanding way to the students that only we are going to learn in this uh, topic okay na so so far i explained the meaning of our of our fifth chapter okay right let us we discuss about uh, the scenario of teaching methods in our india okay let us see